I'm Lucas. Well, you're in a situation where you've been with a man for a while and you just found out that he is still married. You just found out that he's still married. He told you he wasn't. You never saw a ring on his finger. But now you just found out that he's still married. And how did you find out? You probably found out from his actual wife. She probably called his phone or called your phone asking you what, what's going on. What is going on here? Why are you with my man? This happens a lot to a lot of women. You know, they even fall in love with this man, even maybe have babies by these men, just to find out, just to find out that they're already married. They have a different life. So in a situation like this, what do you do? What do you do in a situation like this? Especially if you now have developed feelings for this man, what do you do? It's not that easy just to get out, right? Because now you have feelings for him, but you just find out he's actually married. Probably even has kids. What do you do? The only thing you can do in a situation like this is understand that the fact that he would not be honest with you about him being married, no matter what he tells you, no matter even if he tells you, oh, we've been in the process of getting a divorce, uh, we're, we're kind of separated, kind of separated. Um, I don't like her, she doesn't like me, we don't even sleep in the same room, we didn't, you know, we, we don't even have sex anymore. We can't stand each other. We're kind of out there in the wilderness and she's going her way, I'm going mine. Even if he tells you all this stuff, he's still married and he still did not tell you that he was married. And the, 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 if, if you've been watching my videos, one of the points I reiterate all the time is the importance of trust in a relationship, of honesty in a relationship. The only way that you can have a healthy relationship is if you have trust and honesty in that relationship. Even if you love this man, even if you love this man, what you have to do is step back and say to yourself, is this a situation that I want to stay in? It's hard. It's hard to do, but you have to. You have to do that. Take a step back and ask yourself, is this a situation that I want to be in? Do I, have a, do I even have a future with this man? You know, so it's a tough situation. But I'm not saying that you should end the relationship, okay? Because you love him, and it's going to be very hard for you to do that. But what I'm saying is you have to ask yourself this question if he was dishonest with me, which he was, about telling me that he was married, uh, about not telling me that he was married. Even though I love this man, what else is he going to do to me in the future? How else is he, is he going to lie to me in the future? And in moments like this, I'm going to assume that you want to stay in this relationship because you love him and it's hard for you to break out. So if you want to stay in this relationship, there are two things you need to do. The first is have a big, long talk with him, okay? And the second is to get counseling. I know that it, it sounds kind of out there, but trust me, counseling will help. Because first and foremost, you've got to have that discussion. You've got to have that conversation and talk to him and like find out, do you want to have a future with me or not? find out why did you omit this information why did you lie to me or not lie to me <laughs> because you can omit information and that's I mean it's that line well technically no but he did omit the fact that he was married so you know to some extent that isn't that line not verbally but lying by omission so you gotta have this talk with him and then you have to go to counseling if you want to stay in this relationship because I'm gonna assume that you want to because you're in love with them. It's not going to be easy for you to leave. So that's what you got to do. I'm Lucas. I'll talk to you next time.